My team and I at NN Code has been working on a new computer vision software system that we're going to put out there. It's basically just a full end-to-end -end computer vision system with a front-end, back-end database. We have all the update taking, instance segmentation, and so on running where everything gets locked into the database. You can apply the business logic on top of it. So this is a new software system. Everything will be available on my GitHub. We're going to create multiple videos going over the code and so on. Here we're going to see how we can set it up, go through some of the basic code, what are the different elements that we have inside the software. And then I'm going to create separate videos going fully into the front end, back end code and how everything is set up. So let's just jump straight into the code here. It will be available on my GitHub as well. Check it down in the description. So this is the main folder that we have. So vision system, we have a back end folder, front end folder. We have some Prometheus, Grafana and all that for basically just locking time series, locking and also displaying some basic dashboards with Grafana. First of all, we have a readme file. Definitely just go in and go through that one. It goes through all details, how to set it up. It's pretty straightforward. Once you have it running, it can run on any operating system. So the, this text stack that we're using is fast API for the backend. Right now we have it running with Ultralytics for the update detection, instant segmentation and all that, but we can support any updateation model out there pretty much or any AI system in general. So we're going to build out the system here, expand it over time. If you have any suggestions, anything, also create a pull request, work on it, contribute to this open source project. So we have a tech stack, fast API for the backend, then the front end we're using React, trying to use some of the new component libraries, ChatZN for visualizations, graphs and all that. And then we have a Postgres database. We also have Prometheus for locking and basically just handling our data streams. And then Grafana is sitting on top of Prometheus for visualizations. So go in and check all of it out here. We have a model management, real-time analysis, camera management manager as well, that can handle multiple cameras running at the same time because we need to go in and use threading so we can control each camera separately but also if one camera goes down it's not the end of the world and we take care of all of that as well so the features here front end back end database monitoring and also containerization so we have a docker file with docker and post where you can set up all the different services we run our front end and back end and we have everything running so if you go inside the back end folder here. Again, I'm going to create a separate video where we're going to go over most of it. Then we have our fast API code here. With our middleware, we have all the different global variables that it finds. We have APIs for fetching the cameras, processing frames, handling all the camera controls, setting up a camera, and also the analytics based on the detections that you're getting from your computer vision system. So the main function here is just process frame, just looping through all the detections that we're getting from our Autolytics, YOLO models, or whatever update detection or model that we're using. It doesn't have to be update detection. This is much more just the system around it, and we can swap out these functions relatively easy. So right now, we both support post estimation, update detection, and instant segmentation. We're going to expand it over time, add more features over and over, even do some LLM, VLM integrations, and all that. Capture frame from camera, we have our camera manager, manager, all different locking for how the camera is performing, start and stop cameras, basically just all the threading information, which is really good to have, uptime when we started the thread and all that. So it's a very fast processing system. We can even go in, make it even deeper with queue-based system. We can have multiple threads handling different tasks and so on. Most important of all is that we have the fastest processing possible with our computer vision models. The rest is just APIs around it and the system itself. We have API cameras. I'm going to show you the API documentation in one of the future videos, so definitely stay tuned for that. But this is just for getting all the databases or all the cameras from our database. We have a post here to our cameras. If we want to create a new camera, you can see all the API URLs. Everything is pretty much here, but again, it's gonna be long videos going through all the code here. But if you're just an engineer in any way, software engineer, computer vision engineer, AI engineer, it's so important that you know how to act like build systems around the stuff that you're doing. We have the different models. So detection events, cameras, we have our schemas as well. So basically just defining what goes into the camera when we create it. So we have a source name, stream type, 
a stream string and then also a location so you can have your office camera one office stream type could be a live stream and then we can specify for the stream string here rgps url on your local network could also just be a webcam and so on the front end will take significantly more to go into we're going to do that in the future we have a bunch of different components it's just a react front end sitting on top of the back end calling all the endpoints and handling all the cool stuff that we're doing inside the ui Prometheus is not on. I won't really go into details with that. Here we have our Docker Compose file. It's going to set up our database. It's going to set up Prometheus and it's also going to set up Grafana. And then we can just access them on these URLs. We run our Docker Compose file and then we have our backend and all these services running in the background. Then our application can connect to them with our strings and we have our system running. So let's go inside our readme file. Definitely go read through the readme file in full details. It's like 180 lines it pretty much just goes over everything even the project structure with the back end and front end folder and everything that you need to know the first thing that we should do is go in create a virtual environment if you're using anaconda and so on you can also just do that so right now inside the terminal we create a new terminal if you are on linux or mac you can create a new virtual environment. I already have it here in my base environment for Anaconda, but you'll just create a new Python environment. We activate it by calling this source bin bin activate. Then we have activate our environment, the exact same as if you're doing with Conda activate and then a specific environment that you want to use. Then we just need to call the pip install requirements. I already have everything installed here, as you can see, and then we're pretty much good to go. So once we have our whole environment set up, all the requirements, everything, make sure that you also have Docker, Docker desktop installed. Right now it's running right here. So we can see the vision system is running. Let me just stop it. There we go. Let me open up a new terminal. So the next thing here that we're going to do is go down and run our Docker Compose build. So this is a Docker Compose file that I just showed you a second ago, Docker Compose. It's gonna set up the database, create a database tables, for both the cameras, but also the detection events that we're getting. It's going to set up Prometheus for the data handling and Grafana for the dashboarding. So we're going to go through Prometheus and Grafana a bit later on in future videos. So definitely stay tuned for those as well. So now we should see it running down here in a Docker desktop. Last night, 23 seconds ago with our vision system. So the next thing that we're going to do is start up our backend. So we are going to use UVCorn. Also, we need to have Node.js, those things installed, but it's covered up here at the top. So we have Node.js, Python, Docker, and Postgres. This is all the different prerequisites that we need. So now we're going to use UVCorn, which is used for fast API. And then we go inside our backend folder. We have our main app, and we're going to host it on our local network on port 8000. We're also going to call this dash dash reload, which basically just means that if you're making any code changes, it's automatically going to refresh and reload your application and you can see your changes directly. So let me just run this one. Now we can see we have no problems. It's basically just three terminals, run the dark and post, run the backend system, run the front end, and you have your computer vision system up and running. You can also go in, put everything inside the dark and post file. I will also have a version out with that as well. It's going to be a bit more tough accessing the webcam and so on, depending on the operating system. But if you're working with network streams that you can get inside your dark environment and all that it's fairly easy to get running so now our backend system is running we can see our detection db already exists we can open up a new terminal cd into our front end and now we're going to first of all when you run it the first time you need to npn install it's going to install all the front end dependencies that we need i already have done that so i'm going to run the dev here could also build it, run it for production, but right now we're just doing development and we have this local URL we can now access. So this is the front page of the computer vision AI system. So we have different AI models, real-time processing analytics as well. The dashboard, we're still building all of it out with the total detection, some basic visualizations and graph, different charts. The main one is the live analysis and also the settings tab for setting up the system itself. So the support, detection segmentation and post estimation and you can start your analysis you can stop your cameras you can stop the individual ones and all that support both lot mode and dark mode 
This is also a system that we're using at NN Code for a client, like setting up different projects, implementing the actual business logic behind it, because this is where the value is. One thing is just have the system or the detections running in a video, do a LinkedIn demo or whatever, it doesn't really matter if you have it running there. We need to apply the business logic, get it into a real system and get it out there actually providing business value. So we have a camera tab here, we have security tab, notification, storage, those doesn't really matter too much for now. The main one here is just adding new cameras. So you can either click on the right side or this one here, camera name, let's just call it test one. You can specify if it's a live stream, record a video, so just a MP4 file or whatever, or an RTSP stream. So this is a network stream. You can set up all different types of network streams under the hood. It's just using OpenCV. So let's call it live stream here. I'm just going to specify zero for my webcam. And this one here, let's just call it office. I'm going to add the camera. We can see it's added here, office, index zero, test one, and it's a live stream. You can always go in and edit it and you can also go in and delete the camera again. If you go inside the analysis for the live stream, we can see we have this new camera ready to go. Let's hit start. There we go. It instantly opens up the camera, start to do the analysis. And now we can see detect this person. I'm pu putting up my hand here. So it's getting a second person as well. This is running. You can stop it you can start it. And you can see you can also go down and start and stop it on the individual streams if you have multiple streams running at the same time. Let's go down and add another camera here. So let's just call it test two. Add a zero again. So it's just going to use the same camera. And office two. We're going to add the camera. Now we have two cameras added. We go back to the live analysis. Even though we switched tab and all that, because it's running in frets, we're fully controlling the application and the software system running with APIs. It's just running in the background under the hood, no matter if you even close it down here. Let me just grab this one. Can close it down. We can open it up again. And then it's pretty much just gonna still run in here. So yeah, we can see it's, it's running here. We can go into a new tab, basically just throw it in. There we go. It's still running in the background, doing all the processing. And if we go inside cursor again, we can see all the locking for the different threads. When I started the camera, when I stopped the camera with the thread ID, everything gets locked here. So we don't create multiple threads. We make sure to clean up our resources and all that. So this is pretty much like a fully built out backend system for handling computer vision systems. If we go back in, we can start the second stream. There we go. We have two streams running now with update detection. Let's go in and add a new camera. Again, you can again you can just choose a recorded video as well. So let's just call something random. There we go. Add camera, live analysis. They hit stop all, start analysis and all. And now it's going to run on all three cameras and it's handled separately. So we're seeing the same detections because we're just running on the same camera now. I might even be able to add a one here. And we should get another camera. Let's see. It's still connected to my uh, laptop webcam here in the front because I only have one camera connected right now. So let's just stop it now. We can go on and go up and switch between the different models that we're running. You can do the exact same. You could have multiple ru models running on your system, depending on what you're doing. So let's go into segmentation, start the analysis. And now we are running instant segmentation on all of them. We'll see if we get some detections here. In other words, we're not really getting the phone here. Let's see if we get this bottle. There we go. We can see we did act like detecting this bottle with a very nice segmentation mask around it. This is just running on my CPU. It runs very fast. This can easy run a GPU out of the box as well if you have a GPU available. Let's try the last one here. Just post estimation. Any model can be supported here. We just need to swap out a single function and you can apply your own business logic as well. We can see the camera names. Let me stop this camera. Let me stop this camera. The other two ones are still running. Even if I close it down here and go in to a new stream, they're still running in the background. So this is all you need when you're building production ready computer vision systems, good handling in the back end with the stream management. So how are you? starting stopping streams how you're handling it in the back end with the multi multi-threading 
processing, how do you handle that on GPUs as well, and how do you build a nice looking interface on top of it. If we go back here again, I can connect to the database. So I have my database tab here, it's already connected. You can find all the credentials inside the Postgres or for Postgres inside the Docker Compose file. So we have a table with our camera. So we have test one, two, and then I created these two other random ones. We have the indexes, we have the locations, we can see when it's created. So this is what it's going to load when we go inside the live analysis. We have our detecting events. So this is basically just all different stuff that we're detecting. So we're detecting a person, camera ID four, and these are mapped to each other. So we have an ID four, five, six, seven. So you can always map the detection events back to your camera models. We have segmentation, we have the update detection, we have post estimation, we're just detecting persons right now. And we can see exact camera that we are doing the detections in. Database, front end, back end system, AI processing, update detection, in segmentation, everything is covered there. Make sure to go in and check it out on GitHub. I'm going to create tons of videos covering this whole software system and how it's going to be developed over time. It's only going to be better and better. If you have any recommendations, want to contribute or anything, go in, make a pull request, try to see if you can implement some cool features, do some bug fixes and so on. But we're only going to make it better over time. And we're using this system here for the projects that we're doing at NN code. We're doing like all different types of computer vision systems, AI integrations and everything, even teaching the people inside my AI career program, how to build these types of software systems, because it's much more than just running computer vision models with Ultralytics. That's the few lines of code. It's actually building the system around it, getting it out there, running in the real world. Check it out on GitHub. Hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, Happy coding.